The Humble Secure Digital, or SD card. It's found its way into most of the digital cameras on the planet. With their small size, high capacities, and relatively low cost, it's pretty easy to see why virtually all point-and-shoot cameras, any phones that have expandable storage, and even many video cameras use SD for storage. But SD is not always the right tool for the job, and shooting super high-res photos on a DSLR or recording 4K video that takes up tons of space requires flash memory with not just high capacities but also very high speeds. And while premium models exist, low-end SD cards leave a lot to be desired for high-end photo and video creative professionals. But to understand the new developments, we need to derail this whole video for a moment and go back to one of the earliest standards for camera memory, Compact Flash. If you owned a Digicam, as we used to call them in the uh, late 1990s or early 2000s, there's a good chance that you remember those adorable rectangular dealies that were thicker, bigger, and faster but more expensive than SD. But what you might not know is that although SD won the mainstream flash war, compact flash never entirely disappeared. Which isn't to say that it's aged entirely gracefully either. So when designing a high-end SD card butt kicker, the powers that be borrowed but didn't entirely copy Compact Flash and gave us CFAST, a standard that has been making its way into higher-end photographic equipment. As the name implies, CFAST's main advantage over SD and older Compact Flash cards is that it actually uses the same serial ATA bus that your PC uses, whereas original the original Compact Flash used a parallel ATA connection like the one in your grandpa's computer. That means that CFAST cards can perform data transfers at up to 600 megabytes per second, just like a high-end SSD, making them ideal for 4K video and other bandwidth-heavy applications, especially when you compare them to SD cards, which currently top out at less than half of that speed. The CFAST interface itself has also become useful, even if you don't want the cards, because CFAST uses the SATA bus, it's compatible with SATA SSDs, which one enterprising Kickstarter-er used as the basic idea behind the C-Box, an adapter that attaches to the camera's and camcorder slots and then holds two SSDs connecting directly to CFAST so you can record 4K video directly to your SSD drives without having to worry about space constraints and the horrendous cost of the more compact flash memory cards. But hold on a second, Linus. Should I really be buying all of these CFAST cards? It sounds useful, but what if it goes the way of Betamax or the HD DVD? Good question. There's currently a small but intense format war going on in the high-end video scene between CFAST and a competing standard called XQD, which uses the even faster PCI Express bus and promises capacities of up to 2 terabytes on a single card. And as if that weren't enough, SD and microSD cards refuse to go gently into that good night with speed and capacity revisions showing up every few years. Oh, and I guess there's SATA SSDs themselves as well that even some cameras do use. So, no, it isn't clear which of these rival formats are going to end up dominating high-end photography and video recording, but at least whichever one wins, we can sleep comfortably knowing that the camera on the end of our next-generation selfie stick is capturing every detail of our nose pores in glorious 4K. Glob, grod, gob, and glob bless technology. And bless MassDrop too. MassDrop is the site where you guys, the community, say, hey, we'd sure like to get like a great deal on whatever it happens to be. Uh, what if we all pitched in to buy one? Could we get a discount? And they go, yeah, they work directly with manufacturers and distributors to arrange for what is essentially group buys. And we've got a pretty interesting one here today. It's the Ultimate Ears 18 Pro Custom In-Ear Monitors. These are different from your typical typical in-ear earphones. Basically, you visit an audiologist for ear impressions, you ship those impressions to mass drop, then Ultimate Ears will manufacture what is essentially a tailor-made pair of IEMs just for you. Sure, they're still expensive, even with a bunch of people committing to buy them, but you're going to get six balanced armature drivers, two high, two mid, two low, and thanks to the molded fit, a whopping minus 
26 decibels of noise isolation. Oh, and you can customize the covers on them too. So, so check out the link in the video description if you want to learn more about this particular drop and just to check out Mass Drop in general because they've got a whack ton of cool stuff. Everything from like knives to keyboards to, well, high-end audio equipment just like this. So I guess that's pretty much it. Guys, like the video if you liked it. Dislike it if you thought it sucked. Leave a comment if you have suggestions for future fast as possible, just like this one. And check out our channel, Super Fun Channel, where we've actually got a pretty slick video that just went up. I forget what it was. Right, yeah, rubber band machine gun. Check that out with the little eye in the top right corner. I'm going to have a card there for you. See you later.